2016 was by many a bad year. Popular celebrities passed away. Terrorists massacred dozens both abroad and in the West. North Korea detonated two nukes and the US was divided by the most ruthless election in living memory. However, 2017 might be even worse. Here are five terrifying theories for 2017. A deadly cyber attack. On December 23rd, 2015, an organization of hackers penetrated and disabled three major power stations, leaving hundreds of thousands of homes without electricity and heat in the midst of a freezing winter in Western Ukraine. This was the first occurrence humanity has seen a cyber attack on a target such as a power grid, and is something that only a few years ago would have been considered impossible. Far from being easy targets, the power stations had better cyber protection than most US ones. Foreign policy advisers have been warning that the likelihood of an attack is becoming more and more likely. The warnings so far seem to have gone unanswered by the big western countries such as the United States. Unlike Ukraine, the US power stations cannot regain power capability by using manual backups. Therefore, they could suffer for much longer than was seen in Ukraine. It's also important to mention that these attacks seem to be increasing in their volume and frequency. For the past few years, there has been a major attack almost once or twice a year, with plenty of foiled attacks as well. A US and China trade war US President-elect Trump has made no secret about his plans regarding China. He wants to slap charges on Chinese goods and challenge Beijing over trade. While Beijing may back down, there's always a possibility that they stand up against Trump and as a result start a brutal trading war. This would likely be at the forefront of global events. China and the US trade nearly $600 billion worth of goods, while China imports more from the US. The goods the US imports are harder to source elsewhere, so China would face bigger immediate problems, but US consumers would find themselves paying an enormous tax on consumer electronics. A worrying proposition in the digital age. Then there's the fact that China imports, assembles and then re-exports goods all over Asia. A trade war would almost definitely spread across other Asian countries, making for a very dangerous situation for millions. North Korea goes nuclear. North Korea is often treated as a joke, mostly there to be mocked for their failed weapons tests and outlandish claims. However, we may be greatly underestimating North Korea. 2017 could see their nuclear capability go from laughable attempts to terrifying threat very quickly. Throughout 2016, Pyongyang carried out two nuclear tests, bringing its grand total to five. Every other nation throughout history has gone on to perfect nuclear enablement once they have reached this point. North Korea's leader has made ramping up rocket research a priority. Absurd as it sounds, North Korea might be a lot closer to a working, ready-to-deploy nuclear missile than we actually realise. Our best estimations pit mid-2018 as the point that North Korea could conceivably reach full nuclear capability. However, Kim already has 20 nukes, a fleet of missiles and a fragile ego. Entering the nuclear club could come much earlier for him than we all predicted. A US Civil War Although this theory does sound fairly outlandish, it's scarily plausible given the current social dynamics within the US. US politics have reached the peak of polarisation from society. More Americans than ever before are showing a lack of trust for their fellow citizens. As a result, we find ourselves in a society where politics split the population down the middle. We now have extreme left and right wing groups that are gaining blistering support after the US election. These groups seem to be drilling up more support on social media, spreading their message to more people than ever. Adding in the US election and you have the perfect storm of anger and indifference. It's obviously foolish to say that this will definitely happen, however if there has ever been a time in recent history that the US could fall into a homegrown civil war, it would definitely be right now. A major war. There are signs out there that major powers could be sucked into horrifying collisions if things don't quickly change direction. Depending on those who are involved, this war could be anywhere from small-scale conflict to World War III. China is one country that poses a potential risk. In recent weeks, China and the US have been facing off over the South China Sea and Taiwan. While China would be insane to directly engage the US in a war, there's nothing to stop them from attacking minor US allies. This could then suck in the US and NATO, creating a much bigger and more dangerous situation. Then you have Russia. Former NATO commanders have already predicted that Moscow will attempt to, or successfully annex, the Baltic states in 2017, leaving the US and the EU treaty bound to protect them. Or maybe the recent assassination of a Russian diplomat in Turkey will bring Ankara and Moscow toe to toe. 
a conflict that would also call on the US to be involved. What are your thoughts on all of these theories? Could 2017 be worse, or have we put all the bad times behind us? Let us know in the comments section below, and as always, thanks for watching.